on this week's episode of Bayou Wild TV. I'm Dustin Horton, and this is uh, Lucas Horton. We're from Elk River, Minnesota. We got, we got plenty of opportunity today. That's definitely something that we're not used to, oh is it? Whoa. Whoa. He's anxious. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I think it was huge. I loved it. And that young man, young man today is his hands full. <laughs> Every fish he caught. This is the fish of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, this is the fish of a lifetime. Oh no, here comes another one. <laughs> Closed captioning is brought to you by Global Outdoors. Find your next adventure and share your experiences with others by downloading the Global Outdoors mobile app or visiting globaloutdoors.com. Every day, we strive to preserve traditions that have spanned generations. Around every turn of the bayou, Mother Nature reveals unique people, places, and experiences. And the bounty of animals and fish. Well, in Louisiana, we just call that land yak. I'm Don Dubuque. I'm Chris Lacop. I'm Captain Martha Spencer. Join us as we document the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage that make us Bayou Wild. I'm Dustin Horton, and this is uh, Lucas Horton. We're from Elk River, Minnesota. Uh, we just launched into the Mississippi River with Captain Ryan Lambert of Cajun Fishing Adventures. Special guest along with us today, Lucas Horton, trying to get out here and catch his fish of a lifetime. Stick around, we'll see if he makes it or not. Lucas has a brain tumor. Um, I guess it, uh, he's 10 now, but it uh, started when it was six. When he's six is when we found it. And then we had uh, radiation chemo, came back again a second time. So uh, I guess uh, went through radiation chemo again a second time. And then, uh, then in, uh, I guess it was April, April this year, we found his intestines where starting to kind of die so he had to have some sections removed and then we had to cut it out and put in an ostomy bag and finally just got that done in august so we're kind of august 1st we got out of the hospital since april 1st august 1st we were in and here we are starting our summer with you guys coming up lucas horton from minnesota Comes to Louisiana to catch a fish of a lifetime. Good job. Right up high. I'll flip that open with your left hand. There you go. 
Now, now you're ready to try it on your own. Give it a nice, no, you're gonna build, build on your casting right over his line. I'll throw it straight out that way. One of the reasons why Double D has been around for 50 years is because we are consistent with what built the business. And we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a, a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. But we want to be as true to the original intent, which is a local meat company. And, and that's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it. Some say the best sporting event across the country is tailgating. And when it comes to cast iron, stainless or aluminum pots, pans, fryers, grills, smokers, griddles, boilers, and whatever utensils an expert tailgater could possibly need to satisfy the home crowd, look no further than kingcooker.com. Kingcooker with a K.com and save with discount code DDKK23. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. Become a supporter of the Louisiana Wildlife Agents Association today by visiting supportlwaa.org. Browse the selection of exclusive gear, including t-shirts in a variety of colors and styles, plus hats, koozies, and more. Gear up today and support the LWAA. It's a bluebird day in Buras. Windy conditions would have the expectation that it could be a tough day of fishing. But Lucas Horton, a young man from Minnesota, has traveled to Louisiana today with a trophy fish on his agenda. And he's not given up until he has his fish of a lifetime. What do you got there, bud? Oh, oh big old catfish. Ooh, All right, you can leave him right there. Uh, Fish. Oh, you got a fish? Yeah, you get this one, buddy. Oh, Ryan needs some help now. You hold this. Get this one, buddy. Well, today was another one of our hunt of a lifetime trips. Uh, we've had a, a good relationship with the hunt of a lifetime folks. Uh, we publicize uh, their services. We reach out to people who may be in need of their services. And at the same time, we reach out to people who can provide and are willing to volunteer their time and resources to making these hunts and fishing trips of a lifetime available. And a social worker came and asked if we'd be interested because I think it's kind of a, they figure out, little, I guess I know a little bit about you and they knew that Lucas liked to go deer hunting, right? So we do a little deer hunting. We went through all the animals that they, you could pick from and what did you say you wanted to do? Fish. You wanted to go fishing. What was the fish you picked first? And I laughed. Sunnies. <laughs> you wanted to go fishing for sunnies, didn't you? <laughs> And then we said, well, how about you just let somebody else pick? We'll just go fishing in general, right? And today was one of those trips we haven't missed yet. And I don't know that we ever will, but Ryan Lambert came through. We stayed out there in terrible conditions as far as the wind. Of course, we got the saltwater wedge going on. I guess it was a definite windy day today, and there was uh, definitely no uh, lack of excitement. I think we got. Uh, I think we got put on everything today. <laughs> there was, there was action from everywhere, wasn't it? I would, uh, I'd have to say it was definitely better than home. I'm not so much of a good of a guide. I think that's what we learned, right? <laughs> Fishing around the house. No, it was fun.
It's a juvenile black drum. Good deep, but I don't think he's 16 inches. Pretty, huh? Ready to throw it back. All right, let's do it again. <laughs> I don't know what we could do if we get a jack on. You know, the great thing about where we fish here is no matter what Mother Nature brings to you, and you can see behind me everything is blowing like crazy, we're going to find a spot, either going to the west side or the east side. And right now, the river is low. So when the river is low and it's emerald green and all the fish pour into the river, that's that's money right there. I mean, it's it's a special thing to be able to do what we do here. I mean, we can catch anything. You know, our, our, our motto is, the impossible we do immediately, miracles take a little longer. This is a freeway compared to the Cuban boat. You know, bringing kids on the boat is not like when I was a kid and most people were a kid. Today's kid is a different species, very short attention span. Blame it on social media, blame it on TV, whatever, but they don't have that long attention span. If it ain't happening right now, they get bored and they start looking for other things to do. Now Lucas wasn't like that. He kept his focus all day long and I think you could tell by watching him and his dad that that's where it comes from. You know, I've had I've had a few trips like that lately with the daddy taking so much time with the young men, you know, and bringing them out of that 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 childhood and bring them into manhood and it takes a lot of patience and a lot of time and you got to answer a lot of questions, but you got to take the time to answer those questions and, and just not brush them off. It's so easy to brush them off when, you know, it's every day, every day, but you know, that's our future. You want them raised right, you got till 12 years old. And after that, you know, after that, you can nurture them a little bit, but they got their own mind by then. So what we do with these young ones when, when they're between five and 12 is so important. We're ready. Y'all want a fish. A fish, somebody needs some relief. <laughs> Oh, where's our net man? <laughs> oh, your net man almost blew it on you. <laughs> All right. Good job. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength, to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join huntofalifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit huntofalifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. Pelican billboards can help you reach more people. With prime locations across the greater New Orleans area, they help grow the Bayou Wild brand, and they can help your brand too. Put your business above all the others with Pelican billboards. You're watching Bayou Wild TV, award-winning outdoor programming. on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, or visit the website BayouWildTV.com to watch past episodes.
This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. Fifty years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Continuing this week's episode... We're down the Mississippi River at one of our favorite places to stay, Cajun Fishing Adventures Lodge. We got, we got plenty of opportunity today. That's definitely something that we're not used to, is it? We're on another adventure with a deserving young recipient of a hunt of a lifetime trip. But today, we're equipped with rods and reels instead of rifles and shotguns. And our friend Lucas is looking for a wall hanger. Caught a couple of little black drum. Uh, Lucas was excited about that. Caught some rat reds, got a little bit more excited. Caught some nice slot reds, he loved that. What do you think about him? Um, I'm pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Every fish he caught, this is the fish of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, this is the fish of a lifetime. Oh no, here comes another one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at it. Oh, he's anxious. Where is he? That fish is bigger than you, boy. And then that big old catfish that came in immediately, he said, I'm putting him on the wall. He's going on the wall. Daddy, we put him on my wall? <laughs> that was awesome. That thing was huge. Uh, yeah. I loved it. Now, coming in. Look at the boat didn't sink there, Lucas. And then we topped it off with a, a run on Jack Cravel. Ryan found a spot where it was just bait pouring out of the marsh into the river. All right, if you look right here, you'll see this water is getting pulled out of the marsh into the river. Pulling the bait along with it, you got birds attacking the bait on the top and underneath some monster Jack Cravels that might just qualify as a fish of a lifetime. Let's check them out. <laughs> oh, he's taking all your line. You know, uh, for, for people that just want to get their line stretched, a jack of bells a fish of a lifetime. They are mean, mean, mean. Yeah. It's fighting, yeah. <laughs> and uh, for what that young man's been through with radiation and chemo and all, he held up all day. He was a trooper. I don't think he wanted any more jack of bells, though. <laughs> we, we're pretty healthy. We're old, but we didn't want no more either. <laughs> Right there. Uh -oh. Bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. I can't see it. Yeah, right next to the catfish. Sure, right next to the catfish. I think you put me on the wall. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come in. I suppose that tired you out, right? Learning to walk again after you were in the hospital? Yeah, you're getting your strength back. So did it feel like that? Did your arms feel like that after you like you learned we were practicing, I guess, and walking? Is that what it felt like? Yeah. Let me see those arms. Let's see. <laughs> they still they're still attached. <laughs> Thank you. 
I would uh, definitely uh, don't miss an opportunity. Right, bud? Yeah. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm gonna tear up a little bit, but we're we're thankful to be doing this, right? Now, it was a lot of work for us this summer. It was a uh, non-stop rotation, so my wife would take Monday through Friday, and then I would take Friday and do Friday to Sunday. Um, so, I don't know, it's uh, probably one of the hardest things I've done in life. Makes uh, reeling those fish easy, doesn't it? You know, when you get an opportunity to, to do something like we did today, I mean, it's, it's special, you know, you're doing something very special in the world for somebody that really needs something to bring some joy in their life. And I think we succeeded today. I think, I think our man was very, very happy. My name is Jack and I got beat. <laughs> it's definitely a much needed break and kind of a take a break from life for a little bit or reality this is life but take a break from reality and just spend a moment because you gotta pick it up when you have time because sometimes you don't right we found out the, the hard way definitely have a different outlook on life after all this In Louisiana, food brings everyone together. These are the flavors that make friends out of total strangers. The flavors that remind you of home. It's the meals you crave, that take time, that show love. Because in Louisiana, we cook. And we know that when we come together to cook and eat, life gets better. So pull up a chair, leave room for seconds, and pass a good time. Because life needs Louisiana flavor, baby. Don the Outdoors Guy here to tell you about my Mr. Outdoors portable butane stove. A camp breakfast in the woods, frying a hot shoreline lunch, or thankfully serving up a candlelight dinner when the power's out, the Mr. Outdoors portable stove in its compact carrying case is there whenever I need it. Find Mr. Outdoors cookout stoves and durable stainless steel portable charcoal grills at MROutdoorsCookout.com. Use discount code DDKK23. Delta Marina is Plaquemines Parish Fishing One Stop. Get live bait, fuel, ice, tackle, and marine supplies. Then launch into the world's most productive saltwater fishing. Return to the fishing cleaning station, relax in first-class cabins overlooking the bayou, all in Delta Marina's safety video monitored parking lot. Need a fishing charter guide? Delta Marina can hook you up. Cook your catch in your kitchenette or dine in the upstairs restaurant. Visit Delta Marina for a day or a week. Stop in just off Highway 11 down Rosemary Drive in Empire. Visit the deltamarina.com. Some things in life smell delicious. Others, not so much. Like a gas leak. Propane, for instance, is naturally odorless. That's why we add strong odorants to alert you if there is a leak. So if you ever smell gas, turn your system off at the tank and call your propane dealer immediately. Propane is a safe and exceptional fuel, and we want to keep it that way. In 1967, Dutch Stogner realized his dream to run his own meat market. 50 years and three generations later, Double D and the Stogner family still operate with Dutch's original commitment to quality. Pick up some Double D sausage today and share your good times with us on Facebook. Another perfect trip for our friends through Hunt of a Lifetime. Today was Lucas Day, and he never gave up and was determined to land a fish that he could hang on the wall. And we've got a feeling that there'll be many more fishing trips in his future. You know, one of the things I noticed, uh, I was watching him as he was there with his dad, 
and his dad was helping him hold the rod while he was reeling that fish in. And I looked at that big smile on his face and I thought about his condition. And that condition could have been on Mars. It was a million miles away. It didn't bother him one bit. He wasn't thinking anything about that. And that's what the whole purpose of the hunt of a lifetime and fish of a lifetime is all about. All right, you wanted a fish of a lifetime, little brother? You got your fish of a lifetime. It was, uh, it's definitely a much needed break and kind of a take a break from life for a little bit or reality this is life but take a break from reality and just spend a moment because you gotta pick it up when you have time because sometimes you don't right we found out though the hard way a fish ran away well the fish ran away but just take the time when you get it while everybody's healthy because definitely have a different outlook on life after all this You know, in addition to coming here and, and catching fish in Louisiana that somebody from Minnesota would never get an idea or even try to do up there, uh, the, the habitat is so much different. Uh, the temperature, the culture, the people, and it, it's funny that where they come from, they're on the upper end of the Mississippi River and even remarked that where he comes from, you could actually walk across the Mississippi River. And to see this mighty Mississippi as wide as it is near the mouth of the river and by the Gulf of Mexico was uh, certainly a surprise to them and they got a lot of enjoyment out of that. The bird life, they were impressed with watching the bird. We got to see a couple of alligators real quick. I think it's going to be a trip that, that dad and son will remember for the rest of their lives. Definitely one worth coming back for, I can tell you that much. <laughs> I, know, I know where to go if I want to go on a fishing trip, right? Not say if, when we go on a fishing trip. I think we need to show uh, Mama and Olivia, show Big Sister and Mama. They might need to experience it too, what do you think? Thanks to Captain Ryan and his staff at Cajun Fishing Adventures for making an unforgettable trip for Lucas and his dad Dustin. Definitely a whole different fishing than uh, what we're used to, this is crazy. No, it's, uh, I don't even know what to say. It was, there was action all of the time. That's what was fun about it. Their never give up attitude to land a fish of a lifetime is what we like to see in the adventure, sportsmanship, and heritage of Bayou Wild.